Well, this is the 10th anniversary of the Banana Factory Art Center. Banana Factory was started in, of course, 1998. It was in an old building that was a banana distribution warehouse on uh, the south side of Bethlehem, the same area where the Bethlehem Steel Plant was located. And it was after the Bethlehem Steel Plant closed. It was one of the first renewal efforts using arts uh, as an economic development tool. And it's been incredibly successful, both for uh, as a community project and also for the south side of Bethlehem. We do a lot of uh, educational programs, and, and some of them are done in conjunction with the Bethlehem Area School District. The Be Smart program is part of uh, their after-school program called the Spire. And the Be Smart program is, is the enrichment portion uh, for about 100 to 150 middle school students who are open every day after school and they come in and do any of the classes that we have here. Thursday I do jewelry and I make earrings and necklaces. Digital photography, painting, drawing, ceramics and video game design and also glass blowing. We're one of the few facilities in the country that has uh, younger, younger students doing glass blowing. Ten years ago, it was a cold January night when we all first came to the Banana Factory, and ten years ago today was our first first Friday. So who would have thought in ten years uh, that we would have this wonderful front out here, all of this uh, architecture, none of that stuff was there, none of the sculptures were there, but most importantly, most of the people standing in the room were not here, although a few of us were, right Ben? Right. <laughs> celebrating for 10 years now the arrival of the arts in the south side of Bethlehem, the visual arts, our wonderful artists who have contributed so much to the community and uh, so much of themselves and are such an important part of the program here. I'm an artist here at Banana Factory since May 15th, 1999. When did you start feeling as though you wanted to express yourself this way? Uh, I think always, and like most children, I think they just always were artists and painted, and uh, as children get older, I think they kind of find their own niche, and I just stayed with art. That was my niche. In the Lehigh Valley, I've had to do a little bit of everything. Um, I get calls on professionally to shoot everything, architecture, food, um, people, uh, annual report stuff, but my specialty, I think, is shooting reportage, which is really kind of capturing the moment um, of life. I take my camera with me wherever I go. Um, it's a part of who I am, and I like capturing life. It's a sketchbook for me. You know, one out of a thousand shots is really that magic moment, but it's, it's who I am. I can't imagine doing anything else. Well, we've had the artist studio since we opened the Banana Factory. A, a few of the artists have been here for the full ten years, um, and but most of the artists have been here for five years or less. Some artists come in and they love the experience of having their own studio, but also it's a very special place in terms of interaction with other artists. People feed off that, they get new ideas, so it, it's always a mix, uh, but it's a dynamic part because the, you can feel the creativity of the artists who are in here. And what we struggle for is diversity. We have all different forms of art as well as uh, from diverse backgrounds. We have a very good art community here and we'll Definitely, we spend a lot of time in here, so it's a nice place. Through my work, I uh, bring a message to the viewer, or catch the eye of the viewer, and invite them to travel into my paintings and find different things in, in the paintings. This is my painting each day. I started this project um, August 30th of 2006, and so far I have about 410 to date. They're your everyday items. So if you go to the grocery store and you see all these items that might have been in your mom's pantry or maybe board games, things from your childhood, that's what draws me. I promote them on my painting each day, blogspot.com website, and also my annalizabeschlegel.com website. My tea kettle, my Chantal, and her, I love Mammy. And my mom drank this exact Coca-Cola, and that was it after my grandmother's phone. So this kind of is my personal law. We have 28 visual artist studios uh, with working artists in them, some of whom teach courses here. Having a studio here has really given me the gift of being able to get in touch with young people. Um, I've been very lucky. I had a lot of good mentors when I was young, from high school, my high school teachers, college professors, and the first people I worked for. They taught me everything I, I know about, about uh, working as a photographer, the real world experience. And I've been very lucky. Here at the Banana Factory, I've come in touch with um, after school, at-risk, middle school kids, um, high school kids. 
um, fifth graders as well as even as young as three to five year olds, uh, sharing with them the gift of what photography is, which is capturing lives and sharing memories and uh, documenting stuff. So I feel real lucky to be able to have that gift and share it with other people. And now I split my time between shooting and teaching and it's pretty much the perfect mix for me. I do uh, watercolor collage mostly, and I now experimenting with some in abstract with collage and mixed water media. As part of the 10th anniversary, of course we have gallery shows throughout the year, but we have two very special shows this year. Uh, one is John Isaacs, um, who was a photographer for the United Nations uh, for many years, and we're showing some of his works here uh, in April, actually. And then we have uh, a well-known fabric artist, fiber artist, that we're showing in, um, in the fall. So those are the two key shows that we have this year. The Banana Factory right now, we're looking at uh, expanding both the photography programming. We'd like to have more um, glass programs. Uh, there's warm glass, there's cold glass, there's all kinds of glass programming that we can put into here. And also digital photography has become one of the main things we want to do, and we're probably going to add jewelry as well. So there's a lot of dynamic things that we can add to the Banana Factory. We're also, as part of the Steel Stacks project, which ArtsQuest is engaged in, which involves some development at the former Bethlehem Steel plant. This is a very exciting, very expensive $65 million project, and this could not happen without everyone pitching in, pulling together, and being able to bring home the bacon to this project. And I think we can thank Congressman Dent and feel very appreciated that he is able to bring the bacon home to the Lehigh Valley. Thank you. Uh, this arts component led by Steel Stacks and ArtsQuest is, is, is critical to the vision, I, I think, for the city and for uh, the, the South Side. But we want to develop this arts, this arts sector here on the South Side. It's strong, it's growing, it's dynamic and the ArtsQuest project will provide a, really a, a home for many of the groups and uh, kind of help recognize the, uh, the, uh, the extraordinary uh, work that's been done today. Where artists flourish, people tend to want to congregate. They want to be around the arts. And so the arts are very important to community development. The arts are really important to the community and to economic development because the value that's added in our economy today is by creativity. Uh, the American economy is still continuing to excel internationally because we're the ones that add the creativity, add the new inventions. And people who are, are creative uh, f gravitate to places that offer diverse sports, entertainment, arts, culture. Those are the kinds of things that college graduates and the intellectuals want these days. And those are the people who are going to add the value to economies anywhere. So if you look at places like um, San Francisco and Seattle, New York uh, and Boston. These are the places uh, that are where our economy is really, that are driving our economy. Uh, this is where, what they have to offer uh, people when they come in, whether they're young or old. And we're finding more and more, I probably have people walking into my office at least once a month, younger people saying that they want to move back to the Lehigh Valley, in part because of all the arts and cultural activities that are happening here. What we're very proud of is, is the participation of ArtsQuest and, and the arts in the revitalization of this part of the community. And in that respect, uh, we feel it's also been a great success. Uh, and we were really happy to share that story with other communities and, and get them engaged as well. There isn't a month that goes by that we don't get a call from some other community that wants to have a banana factory. But they can't have this one because it's here in Bethlehem. And the good news is it always will be. So let's take this opportunity and ask Naomi and Nessa, with the assistance of Lourdes and Lino, to cut the 10th anniversary cake. Happy birthday, everybody, and have some cake.